Welcome back to Total Pet Expo TV. I'm Kristen, I'm your host, Kristen Levine, and we're upstairs at the store on the floor with two very special guests. Puppies first, sorry. This precious little puppy and Tom Van Winkle from Tails Humane Society. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Thank you, welcome. Well, uh, I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, I am too, and I'm so happy to finally be able to hold a puppy while I do an interview. <laughs> <laughs> they are kind of cute, cute and cuddly. We have lots of people coming and looking at them. I'm sure you do. It's great, it's great bait to get people to come to your booth, right? <laughs> it sure is. It's, it's sure not for me. That's for <laughs> Okay, let's talk a little bit first about Tails Humane Society. Okay. Uh, Tails Humane Society has been around uh, for about 12 years now. We're located in DeKalb, Illinois, which is about an hour west of Chicago, so we're just west of here. Uh, we do about 2,500 adoptions a year, uh, so we're more of a regional shelter. We bring animals in and adopt them out from all over the northern part of Illinois and actually as far south as Oklahoma. We go down there and, and pull animals from down there too. So uh, we're very, very happy to be here and uh, to be the chosen charity to, for this year's uh, Pet Expo. And as you can see, we brought some of our little uh, friends along six or seven little puppies and some kittens. That's fantastic. And uh, we're going to talk in a little bit. We're going to tell people that are here at the show how you can help Tails uh, before you leave the show on Sunday. So, um, and uh, just real quick about the puppies that are here. What, what is their mix? They are Newfoundland uh, Blue Heeler mixes. They did come from Oklahoma. Uh, we, we partner with uh, four counties in Oklahoma that are very, very rural and uh, struggling economically. So they have a very large overpopulation of dogs and cats. Uh, and so through this partnership agreement, we go down and take uh, as many as we could possibly can at each trip down there, about every three or four weeks, uh, in order to, to help them with their, their problems that they're facing every day. Fantastic. Um, now we were talking earlier, and I really think you should be teaching a session on partnership marketing <laughs> next year. I'm going to I'm going to nominate you for that position. Um, but talk to me about what manufacturers and retailers should be doing. How, what kind of advantages they can um, tap into with their local shelters or with re regional shelters. Um, well, given the, the, the state of the world we're in now, the, the economy we're in, and that uh, everybody's just trying to, you know, in survival mode to the most, to the most part, um, I'm a firm believer in partnerships. And uh, we, uh, at Tails, try, trying to get away from the strict, um, always asking for donations and always asking for handouts. So of course we have to do that. Of course we need uh, the, 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 the support and the generosity of our um, individual contributors as well as our retailers and our manufacturers. However, for the most part, um, I'm a firm believer in partnerships because we as a humane society do have the opportunity to provide some great uh, benefits to our retailers and our manufacturers. And, we and what, are, what are some of those specific uh, benefits you can offer? The main thing is exposure. Uh, we have 2,500 adoptions a year, so there's 2,500 customers right there walking out of our door that we uh, sh can and should be able to market uh, products to. Uh, let people know about the good products, let, let the people know what's out there that, that can help them with their pets. And so the, uh, I work very hard and I want to you know, partner up with the, the manufacturers as well as the retailers in order to get the name of their products out into the world and of course that looks good for us because the more information we can give to our adopters and our clients that makes us more credible and they will come back to us. You have a captive audience of brand new pet owners that are really hungry and in need of that kind of information about products and services. Absolutely, and they look to us for expertise. We get questions, what do you use? What food do you feed? What toys do you use? What leashes do you use? What collars? What products do you use? That's what they ask us, and what we say, of course, they don't always just take it blindly, but they do take our advice. And from the retailer side, uh, you know, we do a lot of um, outreach events, so we take our little friends here to events such as just such, such as this but we do actual adoptions and so we will go to banks we will go to stores we'll go to the not even non pet related uh, entities of stores and we'll set up a little card table and we'll have our puppies and kittens there and people will come in and do adoptions but of course that brings people into the store so there's another partnership idea that we think is very important and also beneficial to both us as well as the the partner Right. Now, um, for the folks, whether they're watching here at the show or they're at home, they couldn't make it to the show, and they want to, whether they're a retailer or a manufacturer, they want to learn more about these types of opportunities to partner with you or with mm -hmm. other shelters. Is there, a, is there a resource they can go to, or can they call you, or what, what, how would you advise them? Uh, my advice would be to start with the local Humane Society. 
or then call me because right, I will partner with anyone throughout the country because there's different ways you can do it. I, I, I am greedy. Uh, <laughs> but no, truthfully, you find your local humane society. Or the animals, people. Yes, of course. Uh, you, but you can go into your local humane society and just speak with the executive director or the development person and ask if they are open to ideas. And another idea is to bring ideas with them uh, because I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I like to think I am, but I'm really not. And so the truth is that maybe a retailer or manufacturer has a good uh, program in mind that they would like to, to work on with the Humane Society. Bring that with them also and sit down and just ask to discuss it. Okay, and, and if they want to reach you personally, how can they do that? They can, you don't have to give your phone number or anything. I wouldn't even mind, but they, they can reach me at the Tales Humane Society, Tom at TalesHumaneSociety.org. Uh, just a quick email saying you'd like to discuss an idea or want to hear what ideas I have. Uh, I am very responsive. I will get back to them, and we can talk about uh, what's going on. We can figure something out. Okay. And we just have a couple seconds left. I wanted you to tell the folks that are watching here at the show how can they help Tales Humane Society before they leave, sh yes. before they leave the show on Sunday. We are the designated charity this year, so tomorrow we will be passing out little yellow stickers that any uh, donations that, a, that one of the exhibitors would like to make to the Humane Society, they just need to affix a sticker to that item. It can be their products or it could be fixtures, desk, whatever they don't want to take with them back home. Stick a sticker on it and we'll come by after the show and pick it up and take it back to the Humane Society and, and, and all benefit will go towards these little guys. Precious. And thank you so much for letting me hold this little guy. I've got, I got my fix. I miss my dog back at home. Adopt him. Adopt her. <laughs> yeah, my, my, we're thinking about it, actually. All right, well, thank you so much, Tom, for the great work that you're doing and for being here at the show this year. We hope to see you next year, too. Thank you. I look forward to it. And thank you for watching Total Pet Expo TV. We'll see you later.